Hey everyone, we have a situation here where we have a leaking sprinkler system uh, or sprinkler valve actually. Uh, so one of the two sprinkler valve here is leaking even though the controller for the sprinkler system is completely off. The water is running all the time and <clears throat> my electricity bill, I mean water bill is extremely high as you can see. Uh, that is the leaking sp sprinkler head right there so the water is flowing and you can probably hear the water still hissing so So to troubleshoot this, uh, to make sure which one of these is actually leaking, um, I just scrub off a little bit of the dirt from the top of the uh, solenoid and uh, we are going to turn it off manually by twisting it to this side. So this is on and this is off. As you can see there's no difference whatsoever, nothing is happening. So this is probably the uh, the bad solenoid right here. So what I'm going to do right now is turn off the water supply completely from the backflow preventer so that we can take this off, the, uh, the solenoid off without the water squirting out to my face. Okay, the water supply is off and you can hear that the, uh, the leaking has stopped. Uh, the water is no longer hissing. So I'm going to open this solenoid just by twisting it okay it is actually spraying directly to the camera okay so be careful um, good thing that uh, you didn't actually damage my camera so I'm gonna move the camera a little bit off angle so it doesn't get damaged and I have a replacement solenoid that I bought from Home Depot right here so let me just open it and install it Making sure it's the uh, same exact one, same exact size. So all you have to do is just screw it in. It doesn't need to be very tight because it has a uh, rubber o-ring and it will prevent the leak. Okay, so once this is tight, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the uh, water, make sure it's not leaking before we actually do the wiring. Okay, I'm back and unfortunately I'm still hearing the water. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I am going to turn the valve. You can see there, let's see, position the camera correctly. There is a an arrow to turn off, you turn clockwise. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that clockwise and hope that I'll be able to turn that off. Nope, it's not turning off. Okay.
Okay, it's not turning off, so that means that uh, I probably have a leak in the diaphragm, so I have to open those four screws. I'm going to turn the water back off and open the, uh, the four screws. Okay, so we're going to uh, remove the four screws now. Okay, there's some water leaking. <clears throat> if I remove the, uh, the screws here, let's make sure that the uh, the pressures are released slowly, so it doesn't explode on me. Okay, looks like all the water pressure is out. Okay, <clears throat> and we finally got the uh, the top part out here. So let's get the screws out, clean this up a little bit. Okay. All right. So this is the solenoid that we just installed, and it's doing fine, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, looks like it's doing all right. So let's just pop that back in. Okay. And then let's see what's going on with this valve here. Or this is called the diaphragm. I don't know how to remove this. I think you just pull it out. Let me see. Okay, I have um, a new diaphragm here. I guess I can use it to take a look at what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Looks like I'm removing the top part of it and looks like it just pulls out yeah let me just try to pull it out okay all right I got it pulled out so this is the new one on the left this is the uh, old one here and I think I'm missing a piece from in there uh-huh so you see that how it broke so that's a good indication that that was probably the problem <coughs> okay so um, there's there's this notch here that matches kind of like something that is going on over here um, so I'm gonna try to match that as I put this in so the this bottom protruding section goes at the bottom 
and I'm just gonna push it in make sure all the edges are pressed in that's it okay and I am going to put back the top just want to make sure that there's no debris uh, going inside the uh, assembly there okay and we will put the screws back just use my hand first let's get the uh, the inside screws first actually let me do the outside so make sure that the inside is lined up And the last one, the screws are actually surprisingly tight. I'm not sure why, but I don't think I'm stripping out anything, so I'm just gonna continue to screw it in. Yeah, that is way tight. Hmm, that is strange. pretty sure there's no other way this is gonna go in so this is strange so I got this side in already this side is almost all the way in let me just screw it all the way in there you go so I got two more screws and the one all the way the inside is the one that I'm having problem with just extremely tight uh, yeah it's not screwing all the way in uh, flip back out let me switch screws with the one on the left see that helps my situation or not This one is tight too. Why do they need such a big screw for such a little valve? Hmm, this one actually going in pretty easy. Okay, so that's tight. Yeah. Okay, so I got three in. And they're all tight. Okay, and uh, hopefully this last one goes in. Yep, looks like it's going in just fine. And we're done okay so I'm hoping that that will do it 
that we'll find out soon. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the water and see what happened. Okay, sprinkler is working and I gotta turn it off before my camera gets damaged. Okay, uh, let me move the camera first. Okay, I got the water off. I uh, did something stupid, almost damaged my camera. Um, basically when I turned, when I went to the uh, backflow preventer to turn on the water, um, the, the sprinkler system is working so good now that all the valves that is around this area actually popped out and start sprinkling everywhere where it wasn't doing that before. So I was uh, able to turn off the, uh, the sprinkler head even though the water is still on right now um, by using the flat head screw that is on the solenoid and I turned it all the way to the right clockwise until I can't turn anymore and that seemed to have turned it off. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually, I'm going to put on the old solenoid. I don't think this is broken, so that I can actually save from using the new one and I don't have to do the wiring anymore. I think this old solenoid is still good. So I'm gonna turn it off one more time, do the switch over and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. So I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit because the last time I removed the solenoid, the water just uh, splurred out directly um, from there. So that's not a good thing. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do it to, to, uh, to turn it slower. Sorry, I'm blocking the camera. I'm gonna try to turn it slow so that any water floating out, I'm pretty sure there will be, but it will be less. Oh, there you go. That's not bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on the new one. I mean the old one. Back. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the water. Okay, the water is on and uh, there's no more hissing noise. So I assume that's a good sign that it's probably not leaking anymore. And uh, the next thing that we need to do is actually turn on the sprinkler system and see if we can activate this zone and confirm that it's actually uh, working. Okay. I actually don't know which one is that particular zone, so I'm just going to turn it on to all station and <clears throat> manual all station uh, press manual start press and hold. Okay, that's not helpful. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go one by one then. Whoops. 
Okay, so that's zone one. Press and hold. Man, I hate these. They're always very confusing. How do you get this to turn on? Oh, there you go. Okay, that's not it. So let's go to zone two. That's not it either. Let's go to zone three. I think that's it. Let's take a look. <clears throat> yes, it is. Yes, this is zone three. And that's where, that's where I was right there working on those valve. And this is definitely the right zone. So it did turn on by itself or not by itself through the controller. And uh, we're going to try to turn it off right now. And if it does turn off, <clears throat> that means we got it fixed. Okay, so we're just going to switch zone to zone four. Zone three should turn off. Some other zone should turn on. Yep, so the back zone right now is turned on and we don't have any leak. This used to be running all the time and right now it is perfect. Okay, well that was a um, uh, quite a bit of an adventure for me. This was my first time repairing a sprinkler valve, so nothing to it. <clears throat> Basically, there's a solenoid and a diaphragm. I learned that from the Home Depot guy when I was there. And uh, he just told me to go ahead and pick up both of them. And uh, it ended up to be the diaphragm. He actually guessed it was the um, solenoid, but it's not. Anyways, um, replacing the diaphragm obviously fixed it. And uh, saved me probably $100 from getting a, uh, a sprinkler person to come out. Um, and uh, it was uh, it was pretty fun, uh, not frustrating definitely, so it worked out and I'm pretty happy. If you find this video useful, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Um, and if you like to watch videos like this on how to's uh, regarding home repairs, um, do it yourself projects, etc., please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.